Hello and one and all, and welcome back to another video on Joseph's Reviews. And yes guys, these posters are off, um, if you didn't catch my other previous review, which was my next Bond review, You Only Live Twice. Well, I'm just going to say this again if you haven't watched that video. Well, my posters have been taken off because I'm moving house soon. Um, I'm hopefully going to get a better movie room where I can shoot my videos in. Um, you are probably going to love my new movie room. I'm hopefully going to get it made if I can. If not, then I'll keep you guys updated about that. But anyways, on today's review, I shall be reviewing the latest X-Men film, X-Men Dark Phoenix. And yes guys, Dark X-Men Dark Phoenix is called that in the UK. It's probably just called Dark Phoenix in the US, but I'm sticking to what it is uh, here anyway. Okay, and it is directed by Simon Kingberg, and it stars Sophie Turner, stars uh, Jennifer Lawrence, stars James McAvoy, star, and it stars Michael Vossbender and a whole bunch of other people are in this movie. And this is the uh, 10th X-Men film if you don't count the two Deadpool movies, which I'm not going to count them. I'm going to do um, an X-Men ranking video at some point. Don't know when, but I'll keep you updated and when it's up. You'll know when it's up. And, and guys, this is a big movie, um, if you guys, uh, want to see this, and you haven't, uh, you be free to still watch this, because this is spoiler free, you're safe, here. And yes, I got a couple of X-Men films, The Last Stand, and Apocalypse. Let's get to the, uh, positives first, because there are, because there are, and like any X-Men film, there are positives. Um, Sophie Turner um, is still great as um, uh, Jean Grey. You know, we saw her, first saw her in X-Men Apocalypse. And yes, she was great in that as well. There's a great moment what she does to Apocalypse, if you know what I'm talking about, who has seen X-Men Apocalypse. Um, there's a really good scene. Uh, what uh, Jean Grey does to X what does to Apocalypse in X Men Apocalypse? She's basically, and in this film, she basically uh, uses those sort of powers, and she's basically the Dark Phoenix in this movie, uh, and she she gives a good performance, and so does James McAvoy as um, Professor X, Professor X. He is great as always, he's played Professor X since X-Men First Class, and he still does a great job. And so does uh, Michael Fassbender as Magneto uh, as well since X-Men First Class. Now this. And all the other characters in this movie are great, like Storm, uh, Nightcrawler, along with the Beast and uh, Quicksilver as well. And you've got some um, some good action sequences here and there. Whenever there's a few good action sequences, it gets going. But what can I tell you? How disappointed was I with this movie? First of all, alright. Jennifer Lawrence. I don't hate Jennifer Lawrence. Um, she was fine in the previous X-Men movies. But I'm not spoiling uh, it, like I said at the beginning of the video. But what they did with her character, just... I don't know what they were thinking. The, what, the points that what they did with this character just weren't that great at all. And Jessica uh, Chastain, if whoever that is, and who plays Smith, like she just she whenever she's on, it just gets very boring, to say the least. And and the story here is just 
just not. Uh, it's just not very great. It just feel. It just feels like an unnecessary X Men, uh, movie because the the Wolverine movies like they were, they were sort of, um. They were sort of necessary, like Origins Wolverine. Yes, that was kind of necessary, along with the Wolverine 2013 and Logan. But yeah, we kind of really only needed Wolverine movies rather than just another X-Men character. But hope, but since now Marvel owns the X-Men franchise, well, the Fox company, hopefully they can do uh, flesh out the characters more because because in the MCU there has not been a single bad MCU movie even the weak ones aren't that bad but still and just there's there's not really much happens I mean what they do with some of the characters just doesn't like I really don't know what to say the writing here is just pretty awful and and this just completely feels like a remake of another X-Men film, The Last Stand. Like, what's the point on remaking an X-Men movie? I mean, I mean, yes, I know they sort of first, you know, released the the first three movies and then started going to a pre calls making X-Men Origins Wolverine. That didn't go well. And if the other one wasn't gonna go well either, they would just the franchise would just die. But X Men First Class brought it back, brought it back, and it's still going now. And here we are, just finished the series with this disappointment. And uh, and then the Wolverine, then Days of Future Past, which goes back in time and get getting rid of uh, the rest of the timeline, getting rid of Origins Wolverine and all that, and all the other movies that go after in the timeline. Now we have this current timeline, then we get X-Men Apocalypse, which was divisive, and now Dark Phoenix. But yeah, who's, who, who was expecting a Dark Phoenix? I was interested to see how this movie would turn out to be. But yeah, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Just what a disappointment this was. So overall guys, X-Men Dark Phoenix just has it has its prop uh, positives like some of the acting's good and some action but the bad stuff here is just some of the characters the way they do with the characters just didn't work and the story the writing and some scenes that just got boring and the way it remakes an X-Men film which was already um, divisive and I'm one of the few people that don't actually hate The Last Stand I just think it's a disappointment I just find it a disappointment there are good things about that film just don't think it's disappointing well I do think it's disappointing actually sorry what was I saying I don't hate the movie, but I just think it's disappointing. But yeah, this movie, just overall, guys, um, I'll talk about more in my ranking video. So that will contain some spoilers there. But on my rating scale, I'm going to give X-Men Dark Phoenix a 4 out of 10. Alrighty, guys, that was my review on X-Men Dark Phoenix. Comment down below, let me know what you all thought of X-Men Dark Phoenix and and uh, what would you say is the most disappointing comic movie, not like just the worst more superhero movies, but the most disappointing comic book movie in your opinion is. Let me know below in the comments. And and I'll try to see more movies, guys. I am busy. So I'll do my best. And give you what I can give you. 
stay tuned for a ranking video. Again, don't know when, but when it's up, you'll see it. So as always, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. All my social media links are in the description below. Don't forget to click the notification bell before you leave. And as always, until my next video, I will see you guys then, and peace.